Hey guys, and welcome back to Bad Resales. I'm Natalie. And I'm Will. And in today's video, we're going on a little thrift trip. Hopefully buy things cheap, sell it high online for a profit. So let's go. We're here at Goodwill. Parking lot is filled. <laughs> Putting on deodorant before she goes hard in Goodwill. All right, what we got, what we got. Uh, no new racks, that's upsetting. All right, looks like Nat might have something here. These are a pair of New Balance, like suede Oxford shoes, and they're clean. We, we love shoes with no cleanup. These require no cleanup, no wiping, nothing. These are just photograph and list. Sell through it, not gonna lie, it's not that great. But when they sell for 40 to $50, we'll take a chance on it for $6.99. And we're bad resells. <laughs> so sell through it skyrockets. Scanning the pants here, there's always a few things that I look for, which is like a utility loop or pockets or a logo standing out. This one got the pocket and the logo. We got a Caterpillar cargo work utility pants here. These are heavyweight work pants, amazing quality. Not everything by Cat or Caterpillar does sell, so definitely look it up by category and be more specific. But this one, it's got the anti-slip waistband, multiple pockets, the cargo, the double knee. These are all keywords you want to use in your listing to just better your listing, make it more accessible to people who are looking for these exact pair of pants. They look brand new. And I looked up the comps already and there are more sold than listed and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Pants here are $4.89. <laughs> Two pants down, there's another pair. <laughs> I didn't even see this one. Like I knew about the other one. I did not know about this one. Wait, look at these pockets though. Look at that, never seen that before. So now we got two. Love back-to-back -back finds. Those are the best. What I is that? this would be cool. It's a hippo. Oh, for us? Yeah. Oh my God. Maybe it could go outside. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. How cool is that colorway? Kind of looks like you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nat's walking over. Looks like she got some car hearts. Carpenter shorts. Got the little loop de loop right there. Patch on the back. Great condition. Bread and butter shorts here. 2025 plus shipping. They should sell quick like hot cupcakes. <laughs> nice. And they're $4.89. We're back with the hippo. So, this guy might actually be worth something. Essentially, I pulled it up on Google Photos. Someone has this bad boy listed for $500 plus shipping. Not sold, but listed. I see a tag right here. I'm probably gonna rip that off and just show that code right there. But for 13 bucks, I think it's worth the risk. Can we? Oh. The good is the will. So, in the shorts section, I found a pair of AFSCO swim trunks in a brown color. I don't know if the camera catches it, but they have this really cool, slightly shimmer to the fabric, which I think is pretty cool. We saw multiple of these in the past. Perfect as board shorts, too. And right on top of it, we got a pair of Salomons. I have yet to look these up. I just saw them because it says Salomon right there. But I guess these are a type of hiking sandals. I don't even know how to describe these. So I'm gonna look these up and see if they be worth the pickup. Overall, pretty good condition. Obviously some wear on it, but nothing crazy. Pretty good. All right, I took a Google photo of these and uh, I got some exact search results. These are called the Salomon Tech Amphibian shoes. And these are a size women's eight. Looking at the comps on eBay, there are more sold than there are listed. We are gonna grab these for $6.99 and should get around $30 to $40 for them, plus shipping. 
And right next to them, I just spotted this. They're, they're kind of warm, but it's a pair of the Bola brand here. Teva for shoes. Look for that little hand, a little crusty, I don't know. Undersole still looks good. After looking into this on eBay, I'm gonna not pick this up. Simply too much wear on them and they only go for like 25. I'm gonna put these back. Had they been a dollar, then yeah, but 6 dollars nah. All right, guys, just want to tell you guys to keep your heads on a swivel because I was so focused on these jeans, I totally missed these shoes right here. These are pretty darn clean, minimal cleanup. Shoes here are $6.99. These are, I think, the Phantom White something by Women's. 12 listed, 11 sold. All of them are brand new. Uh, these ones are used, just a little wipe down looks like. They were selling for $100 plus. So I'm thinking if we could get $60 plus shipping, I'll take it all day. All right, I showed Natalie. She tried them on, she likes them. Oh. <laughs> so this is a new brand for us. This is called First Tactical. I would have looked these up regardless whether or not they were new with tags. The tags here say price is 50 bucks. Doesn't sell too good, to be honest. I filtered it down to the size 38 by 32. There is seven listed, and one of them is a pair of 501. So we'll say six listed, two sold in this size. Pants here are 489. Might sit for a while, but they were selling for right around like 40 to $50. Still might be a good call. So a new rack was brought out and we instantly saw a very familiar logo but the other lady got there first so we thought she was gonna snag it but luckily she completely ignored these pants. Just goes to show people are looking for different things here at Goo Wheel. Some cool pants. Nice. Here's a closer look on the cool hiking pants that Will grabbed off of the new rack as it was coming out. That's the logo right there, a little mountain. Oh, and it says a little embroidered cool on the back. Very nice. Cool pickup. Thank you. So, found this awesome vintage t-shirt off the new rack. With vintage t-shirts, typically they're single stitch. In terms of vintage t-shirts, we don't pick up everything, only stuff with awesome graphics. See the tag there, made in USA, and it does have a cool hit on the back. Gives a little warning how this scene here is dangerous. Do not try at home. I wish this was my size in XL because I would have kept it. That print right there is awesome. I think we could easily get about $20 plus shipping on this bad boy. All right, guys, that sums up today's thrifting haul. Solid, solid pickups today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting our journey. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.